here we are in a castle here in Switzerland. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put together a possibility for us to um, do a, a lifelong dream of mine is formulate the 12 apostles into women. So Velma, if you could follow me, I'm going to take you to the point of where we're going to actually start. So this castle is 703 years old. And I want to create that in this huge environment. If you can look up top there, you can see it. Um, there's a lot of history here. And as, as I'm walking through, I actually take a, you know, a, a minute or two to kind of reminisce on who was here 703 years ago. America has only been around for a good 250 years. And if you can look, this is a soul here. I don't know exactly how this stove, how old this stove is in a replica, but if you can take me around here and uh, follow me around the side. This is also uh, an old pool room. Everything is really authentic and ancient. So we're going to put out a casting call and, um, you know, we're going to uh, have about 12 to 14 women. Uh, participate in um, this event and we're looking at probably sometime around September October time frame um, this event is not for models this is telling the story of the individuals that you know in this time that we live in women's empowerment women's you know women are standing up their voices are you know um, starting to be heard and we want to create something really powerful. That story has been going around for 10,000 years about, you know, the 12 apostles and how strong they were, but we never really mentioned women. And I just want to create a, a, a piece of art that will display that. So we're going to get beautiful designers and beautiful gowns and, and uh, people to participate. This is going to be a very, very expensive adventure. So what we're going to do is um, there's going to be a price involved. We're not... You know, we're not in a position to um, pay people to, you know, uh, come here, but um, spread the word. If, you know, there's a beautiful gift that you would like to give a, a, a wife or a daughter or something like this, this is going to be the opportunity. Thanks a lot. Right. But here we are, and this is called um, the fireplace room. And um, uh, I'm six foot two, and these are very huge fireplaces. So... If you can look here, um, the width of this, I want to say that's about five and a half feet. It doesn't width. let me turn that way because yeah, that's circle. good. You're gonna walk through and we'll see it. So if we walk out here, we're right in the middle of the Swiss Alps in this castle. And um, if you can look around out here, uh, if you can look at that down out there, um, it's a very, very beautiful grounds. And if you push this up there, it will go up. Can see the, the, the beautiful background here. And uh, if you can follow me, um, this is, um, you know, it's, uh, I don't want to give out names, but the individual who lives here is just one woman who inherited this uh, huge estate that sits on about 80 acres. And it's very difficult for her to maintain it, you know. Uh, it's it's um, basically what happens is, is it's a private owned castle, but the city and the state force them whenever they do things to make it original. So you just can't replace the windows with something that is, you know, uh, from this century. You, you know, you have to be, it has to be made exactly how it was back then. So we're going to have an event and there's going to be plenty of photo uh, ops here and this is something that we are really looking forward to, this is like a dream.